friends, this is Firearm Papa, and today we have another edition of Armed Citizen Stories. And this is coming out of, uh, of uh, the archives. This is October, I believe it was, 2006, The Rifleman Magazine. So 2006, The Rifleman Magazine. And uh, these stories are as relevant today as they were then, and I hope you, uh, you enjoy them with me. So, again, first time reading them. Uh, so watch me stumble through them, but uh, I think the message will be the same. So let's get going here. Chris Cope said it was like something in a serial killer movie at a Memphis, ten Tennessee shopping center where he manages a financial services office, office. According to police, a store employee began stabbing co-workers after a work dispute. The attacker had already stabbed eight people and was chasing the ninth when Cope ran into his truck and retrieved his 9mm pistol. The suspect just kept saying, I'm insane, I wish I were never born, and all that stuff, Cope said. But apparently, the crazed man valued his life more than he let on. When he turned around and saw my pistol, he threw the knife away, put his hands up, and got on the ground, Cope said. He saw my gun, and that was pretty much it. And that was July 21st, 2006. You know... Friends, sometimes that's all you need is to uh, present the weapon, and that's enough to deter these these clowns. Okay. Police say a man may have broken into a residence in conjunction with the plan to rob a local bank. When the homeowner confronted the suspect, he was ordered to wake his wife and get the keys to the bank where she was employed. The homeowner went to the bedroom, leading the intruder to believe he was wa he was waking his wife, but instead he told his wife to call 911 and grabbed the handgun from the nightstand. He told the burglar to raise his hands and drop the weapon he had. Reportedly, he dropped a 12-inch butcher knife to the floor before sheriff deputies arrived on the scene. Independence Day reporter, Independence, Kansas City, Kansas, I'm sorry, July 12th, 2006. I ain't playing, said an armed intruder who also used an ex ex explicit explicitive as he uh, barged into George Dickert's South Carolina home. According to police reports, the intruder pointed a gun at Dickert, who reached for his own gun. A fistfight ensued. My wife and I do, <clears throat> do what we have to do to make a living, and some idiot decided he wanted uh, what I had, Dickert said. Hearing the struggle, two more men rushed into the house and began beating on Dickert. But Dickert's son was also... Uh, heard the commotion and, after seeing his father struggling with men, retrieved the 38 caliber pistol from a bedroom, pointed it at his father's assailants, and told them he would shoot. The thugs ran from the home without further incident. Police apprehended four men near Dickert's home in conjunction with the crime and were seeking a, a fifth. Dickert says he's taught his son firearm safety at a young age. Amen to that. Uh, good news. According to police, 54-year-old burglar with a violent and lengthy criminal record dating back to 1969 decided to strike again. The man, whose rap sheet includes aggravated assault with a knife, aggravated robbery, felony menacing, and drug charges, entered the home of a local school teacher by removing an air conditioning unit from a window. The homeowner shot the intruder in the chest with a 12-gauge shotgun, killing him. Denver Post, Denver, Colorado, July 20, 2006. Morris Brown had just dropped off a friend at an apartment when two men stopped him and asked for drugs, said police. Then Brown replied that he had no drugs, and the man announced that they were robbing him. A third man approached from behind and grabbed Brown, while the other two started beating him. The men stole Brown's keys, cell phone, and wallet and started to walk away. Brown probably uh, would have let them have his property in exchange for his life, but then the man who had approached Brown from behind, pointed a handgun at him. Brown, who has a concealed carry permit, drew his pistol and, two, and shot two of his assailants. One man died at the hospital. The man who pointed the gun at Brown fled the scene when uh, the shooting started. It was unclear if he was injured. And that was in Newport News, Virginia. According to police, a 61-year-old man arrived home to find a masked gunman waiting in his garage and a violent struggle ensued. After attempting to to arrest the fireman, 
the firearm from the intruder, the homeowner drew his own handgun and shot him. A second suspect ran to the aid of the wounded gunman and the criminal duo fled. The victim was treated and released for chest pains and a cut hand but was otherwise uninjured. Detroit News, Detroit, Michigan. Anyway, some more really great uh, self-defense stories. Um, in some of them, not a shot was fired and uh, that saved the day. So, um, hope you enjoyed the stories. These are out of the past. I enjoy them, uh, and they're as relevant today as they were then. This is Fire on Pop. You'd be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.